Hey there everyone, in today's video I'll be explaining what you should be looking for in a web hosting provider to help get you a better idea of what suits your needs. Now, there's three main categories of hosting that accommodates the level of traffic and resources your site is going to need. If you're just starting a small business or have a blog, then shared web hosting is the best place to start. However, it isn't as customizable as VPS hosting, which can handle more traffic, but since it runs on one server, it is prone to performance issues in case it's overworked by the activity it's receiving, which isn't a problem that cloud hosting has since it runs on multiple servers and can spread that workload across those points. So, for those of you who have sites with much more traffic, then cloud hosting is your most reliable option because it's flexible to the needs of your sites. With that being said though, you also want to make sure your provider has a high uptime. And if you look at Hostinger's uptime, for example, which is how stable a site is, it didn't go down whatsoever for 5 of the past 6 months as it hit 100%. Not to mention, the response time is well under a second for every month, so it goes without saying that Hostinger is is running pretty smoothly. And of course, speed and resources come at a price, so you're going to want to compare that with other vendors as well. But it's all about finding the sweet spot between pricing and features, which hosting or spares no details in showing. For example, if we look at the business package for the shared web hosting plan, you'll notice that you get 100 websites, but also 200 gigabytes of NVMe storage for only a dollar more than the premium plan, which is criminal to me because NVMe storage is 10 times faster than your regular SSD, and that makes all the difference. You'll also want to make sure that your site is secure, so your plan should include items such as automatic backups, SSL certificates, and firewalls. Hostinger again offers all of these across their plans as the standard. Even the most basic plan provides weekly backups, unlimited SSL, and a firewall. Then the business plan has this and more in terms of security with enhanced DDoS protection, daily backups, and a firewall. So make sure those are all included with any other platform you might be going with. Don't settle for less, folks. Though, no matter how much power you have, you still might have some questions while using your web hosting platform. And so you want to make sure that you have 24-7 customer support like Hostinger has here. So I think it goes without saying that I really like Hostinger since it checks all the boxes I'm looking for in a web hosting provider. And if it also tickles your fancy, then you can check out the link in the description below because I've provided the best deal available for Hostinger that gives you three months of free use on all plans and a general site-wide discount that can set you on your hosting journey with extra money in your pocket. Never hurts to have that. I also have a Hostinger website building tutorial, so if you do choose to go with Hostinger, then you can check that out in the description below. But at any rate, thank you guys so much for watching the video, and if you found it helpful, then consider hitting the like button and subscribing to keep the lights on over here. And until next time, take care, and I will catch you then.